this channel, I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. So today I want to talk about a recent video I made on the city by Karen and I gotta say, it is my opinion at the end of the day. In fact, it is my factual opinion based on what I see instead of believing that I believe the city bike Karen mentality. So if you want to continue to cope and see, that's on you, not me. That said, allegedly, the city bike Karen quote-unquote paid the city bike, which is according to her employment lawyer. But before I get to that, I want to go back to the prior video and call out the problem with the city bike Karen's approach. Alright, so the problem I have with DC by Karen is that she yelled for attention. She yelled, help, help me, instead of showing evidence on her city bike app that she paid to rent the bike. The black guy, I assume, is a, is a teenager who said he paid for the bike, and I'll show the so-called receipts, quote-unquote receipts, the city by Karen's lawyer claimed in a few moments. Also, another problem I have with the city by Karen is that she snatched his phone out of his hand. Her disgusting behavior cannot be ignored. So why didn't she say and show the black guy her receipt in the first place? like she was in the video. Why did she not show it instead of resorting to using a demeaning tone of voice towards the black guy? All right, so because everyone wants to be so focused on receipts, right? People are focusing not just on the receipts that her attorney produced, but they're also demanding to know, well, what about the boys' receipts? What about the boys' receipts? All right, so let's do this right here. If you want to know where the boys' receipt is, the boys' receipt is the entire video. You know why? Because the bike is active through the entire video. You can tell that because the light on the front of the bike is on. The bike is active on his account. When her call, he tries, first of all, the boy tried to tell everybody he was showing his phone to everyone. It's, I rented the bike. It's on my account, right? When her colleague walks up and first tells the boy, um, reset the bike and give it to her. That would mean that it was on the boy's account. And the gentleman was asking him to reset the bike and then let her rent the bike once it was reset, right? So that would mean the bike was rented on the boy's account. That's the boy's receipt, okay? Next. The gentleman who walked up then told her, well, hey, why don't you just take one of these bikes here? And she was, oh, okay, well, I guess I can. And she went, whatever that was, she mumbled when she immediately stopped with the fake crying. And then she went over and rented a different bike. City bike won't let you rent two bikes at once. So if she had paid for that bike and it was on her account, she would have had to have that bike returned first before she could rent the other bike. And based on the receipts that her lawyer gave us, we know that didn't happen either, right? Finally, looking at the receipts that her lawyer provided, you know what should be the most glaring and noticeable thing to everyone? The $0 charge. Everyone is insisting she already paid for the bike. She already paid for the bike. $0 means she didn't pay shit. I want you guys to please think critically. Stop just being fed information without thinking for yourselves, please. Like you, this is, this is, 
A kindergartner probably would grasp this quicker, okay? She didn't pay for anything, you guys. The receipt, by, based on the receipt her lawyer sent, she didn't pay for anything. She wasn't charged. It was a zero dollar charge. One last note. The person who originally posted the video that eventually went viral on Twitter has a note on his Twitter account that he tested for himself. He went on City Bike app, typed in that particular bike that was in the video's number and reserved it and was able to create the same zero charge receipt from his couch. Have a good day. Receipts from the May 12, 2013 encounter sent to the independent appear to show a serial number matching the bike pictured in the video. The receipts captured Ms. Comrie checking out the bike, then docking it a minute later without paying a charge. Several news organizations reported that they received a copy of the City Bike Karen receipts from Comrie's attorney, but actual copies of the receipt were scarce. We located one version on a scraper site matching the portion visible in the image based Reddit post. As indicated above, the video of the city bike dispute began virtually virally circulating on May 13, 2013. Comrie's lawyer appeared to produce the receipt roughly a week after the controversy began. Despite the certainty which, with which social media users and news outlets asserted Comrie's receipt disproved the, the video. The copy of the receipt that we found was questionable, in addition to displaying a charge of zero dollars. It was blurry and pixelated, and the bike's serial number was visible in the original video, making it easy to obtain a, to obtain a specific receipt after the fact. Its most suspicious detail, however, was none any of those things. It was, instead, the, react the redacted time next to the May 12, 2013 date at the top. She never once claimed she rented the bike, but does try to take his phone out of his hands and then does not repute it when they claim that he has currently rented the bike to the guy that tries to intervene. It's pretty clear at the time of the video, the bike had been rented by the dude in the video. Against the backdrop of amplified racial tensions in New York City in May 2023, a New York City nurse dubbed the City Bike Karen was accused of taking a city bike paid for by a black teenager on May 12 and 13, 2023 on or around May 18, 2023. An attorney representing Comrie produced a purported receipt proving Comrie paid for the bike. The clearest copy of the receipt we located was attached to a SPANS site. The image and its backstory did not prove anything. The amount was the amount shown was zero dollars, and the timestamp was inexplicably redacted. The receipt could have been doctored or generated on the night of the incident, as insurance 
in the event that the video went viral, which later, which it later did. Do you trust him to fairly investigate this and if charges are warranted, bring them? Quite candidly, we don't want charges for these individuals. Uh, my client has no ill will for these individuals. In fact, she wishes them the wow. best. We think this is just uh, a terrible mistake, a misunderstanding. Um, we don't want the same scrutiny and misery that is applied to my client to go to these young men. They are, after all, young men. Really, I'll say this again from the last video. This black teenager was in the right to pay for that bike he was using at first on his account. Now, he has his phone out, which he tried to show Sarah Jane Comrie his actual receipt. Even as he says, this is my bike that's on my account. Please move. Then this black teenager told the unaware co-worker who works with Sarah Jane Comrie, I'm not resetting the bike. It's on my account. And her co-worker said, all right, reset it and we'll throw it out on your account. Then the black teenager says, that's not how it works. I don't give a fuck. That is my bike. And from that point on, Sarah Jane Comrie is the only one touching him. She touched his hand that was on the hand bar. The black teenager nearly didn't touch her. She touched him. That's why from the first video about the city by Karen, you can literally see her pushing the young black teenager in the, her right side of the body. So, moreover, she was the one who started touching. This black teenager did nothing wrong, but only stood still calmly about escalating the situation further. But Sarah Jane wasn't calm and escalated the situation for nothing over a city bike that was clearly his rented bike based on his phone, which uses the city bike app. And finally, her co-worker told her, why don't you take this bike? Then she says, I will, I just can't. And she gets off the bike and looks at her phone. No tears coming down, were coming down from her face because she acted like she was crying so she can get sympathy points. The way Sarah Jane Comrie acted is irresponsible. She did not provide her phone to show anything that was rented by her. And her lawyer is, who is an employment lawyer, to provided the receipts, which now proves she didn't pay for it. Her amount is zero dollars and zero cents. And I'm not going to retract my opinion from the last video I made, because, because again, the evidence shows that she didn't pay for it. And her behavior, by the way, is why I'm calling her out, because again, she was the one who touched him. But that black teen did nothing. All he did was stand there while Sarah overreacted over his city bike. Had she not yelled for attention and not physically touched the young teen as well as her snatching his phone out of his hand, then this situation would have been totally different if she showed her phone. But no. She never did. Only the black teenager had his phone out the entire time showing the bystanders the number on his city bike account. I don't care if the video was only 90 seconds long. 
the evidence in that video is that he claims the bike is his. That's the main point of the video we all seen, but some people side with the white woman have no knowledge of actually digging deeper. They only believe what her employment lawyer says about merits of evidence whatsoever. And as for the young, the people who think she did nothing wrong and that it was the bike black dude who stole her bike, you are now wrong. And again, I'll not be recapping my opinionated facts. I stand by what I said.